Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Super excited about this one because Noping actually just unveiled brand new FPS boosting settings within their app. So we're gonna dive into that. We're gonna look at all the best FPS boosting tips. I've used Razer Cortex for years and Noping I've used for like two years. Noping is super cool. It at first only started off as a ping optimizing, well, like a gaming VPN software. And now they're doing a ton of stuff with FPS, trying to give people the best of both worlds higher FPS, lower latency, less lag. So we're gonna start with no ping because there's just a couple settings I wanna show you guys about it. And then we're gonna talk about Razer Cortex. There's a little bit more settings in Razer Cortex and I wanna show you guys what I use to get the best FPS in this. First off guys, both of these services are linked in the description below. Feel free to download them. Razer Cortex doesn't cost you a dime and no ping has a seven day free trial. As you can see by this button, you can test it out, no cost for seven days just to basically check if it works for you. If it works for you, awesome. You can do a monthly plan with it. And I've been doing that for a long time now. So when you first log into it, obviously you can just click Fortnite and you can then select a server that's closest to you to try to reduce your ping. As you can see, these are all the ping times. You wanna find one, hopefully that has less ping than you normally get in game. But honestly, they still have like 60 US servers in here you guys can choose from. But anyways, I digress. We're here for the FPS boost, so let's check that out. So first you're gonna click this gear up here in the top right. You see all these options in here. There's even one for improving keyboard response, uh, but the one that we're interested in is boost FPS. You're gonna click this button here. And as you can see, now they got 15 buttons in here. Before it was just one button, and you could choose to boost FPS and it just did something. I don't know what it did, but now there's like 15 options in here which is awesome uh, i use all of them except for windows services this one because for some reason it turns my screen gray it only recently did that um so i'm not sure if that's something that they're still updating within the no ping app but yeah i i have this third one off because it does something weird but all these other ones you can turn on and they definitely help out it's gonna basically limit all the background stuff that your windows system does automatically to basically draw source or resources from your CPU and GPU and slow down your game ultimately. So having all these checked, I think is the best play. And basically that's all the new settings for no ping. Again, check it out in the description if you guys want to. And let's move on to Razer Cortex because that's an amazing FPS booster as well. So Razer Cortex, obviously by the company Razer, has a lot more money <laughs> and they have a lot more resources. So there's so many more options within Razer Cortex. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you guys is Game Booster. So Game Booster, hence the name Game Booster, is basically gonna give you more performance while you're playing the game. You can see all the specific things it's gonna do here. There's an auto boost button. Honestly, probably the best part about this is the auto boost button, cause I don't even have to think about it. This game just launches when I start my PC, or not game, the, the software will launches automatically. And it has all these things that I like already good to go. It can clean RAM, clear clipboard, enable power solutions, you know, you name it, all these things here. And then just simply click boost now if you wanna start that right away. It's gonna optimize it and it actually shows you how much RAM it's releasing. So we've released two gigabytes of RAM memory, which is fantastic. The more memory you have, the more FPS you get in Fortnite actually. I did a video on that on 8 gigs versus 16 gigs versus 32 gigs of RAM. And every single time I went up in RAM, I got more FPS. That was an awesome video. You guys should check that out if you haven't. Um, but yeah, besides the game booster, there's also a system booster. The system booster is going to boost everything on your entire PC. Um, it's going to scan for basically like junk files, things that like don't belong or that just take up space and are you know, unneedingly slowing down your, your PC. Just click scan. It's gonna automatically check everything. It's gonna show you how much you actually clear. I just did this too, so I'm surprised it found anything. But the fact that it did is a good thing, I guess. So we're gonna click clean. It says congrats, you're done. And that's it. That's it for that part. And there's speed up as well. Do not forget the speed up part. So all these things here, it's already checked. It's gonna basically optimize so many things to give you faster performance, even more than no ping. No ping is a great two in one service, but this Razer Cortex definitely has more options. And as you can see all these things here, I mean, you can read through them. 
I'm not going to go through it all because it's a lot. But basically a lot of background registry services running on your PC, just built in with your Windows PC. It's going to limit those. It's going to change some of those settings to basically impact less on your system. You're going to click optimize and it's just going to do its work. Got a little loading bar here and then we're done. That's basically all there is to it. If you have any service issues at all, like with your PC, if you have any functionality issues, just restore to Windows default, um, remove all those changes, and you're back to where you were. So it doesn't harm your PC because you can always go back and undo any of these changes. And if you have a weird glitch, you can also restart your PC. It automatically turns off this software. Uh, so you can also click on defrag. I don't have a hard drive, so this doesn't really help me at all. Uh, and then my rig is just kind of cool. You can look at everything on your PC, which is really cool. You can look at your RAM, your motherboard, processor, GPU, and it's just nice to be able to see all that in one concise, consolidated little area there. I know that season, season four has been very laggy for a lot of people, so I'm gonna make a video in two days, and you guys are gonna get way lower ping. There's a lot of things I found out that I'm gonna share with you guys in that video, so subscribe if you guys are new because that video is going to help you a ton when it comes to peeing. But as always, guys, I hope that you found something interesting and helpful in this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.